All right, guys, ready for step four, flipping and then stuffing. So what you're going to do now is you're going to take that open area that you left there and it's kind of like if you have a sock that's inside out, you're going to take it and flip it inside out. The reason we do this is because uh, it's going to give you a better stitch. It's going to clean everything up. And then also some of those strings you left hanging out at the end, uh, when you got a new string, uh, those won't show up anymore and those will be on the inside and everything will be nice and clean and neat around the outer edge. So this is that other one I was working on uh, for my design. The one that looked like this. Okay. So I'm going to try to get this all undone. It takes a little hard, it's a little hard sometimes because you got to really work on some on the inside and really push them out, especially if something's really long. Like some of those arms are really long. I'm going to push it the other way. Looks like it's getting really close here. There we go. And I think I've got it turned inside out. And now I'm ready for the stuffing part. Okay. Stuffing looks like this stuff here. And you just take a little bit at a time. And you're going to put it in that hole there. Now if you have smaller areas right here, you might have to take uh, some type of tool and, and really push it down inside of there. This is where it starts to get fun. and um, It does take quite a bit to put in there, but... Okay, so maybe I can take a pencil and eraser in here and just kind of push it down the legs and arms. And Stuffing a turkey. Now he's getting pretty soft. As you notice here though, there's there's not a lot of stuffing down inside of here. Okay. So I need to put some more in here. And I want to get a lot in the front part here. Um, and I'm just going to work some down inside of there. If I can do it by hand, I'll do that. Tools again. But this is kind of the part where you have to just work on it for a while uh, and see if you can get that down inside of there. You might have to kind of keep pressing with your fingers down in there. And that's why it's again important to not do too small of areas because you might not be able to get that stuffing down inside of there. All right. Well, uh, I'm going to keep working on this. Um, this is going to take me a little while, I think, but I think if I take a little time here, work that stuffing around in there, I think I'll get it. And the last step here, as far as the sewing part, is that open area. Once you have it filled in, you're going to seal this shut. Okay, so you're just going to take the, um, the needle and thread, and you're just going to keep doing that on the top. And then maybe for the end, you just kind of do a little tie around another stitch there to make sure that it's sealed all up. Okay, and then the last part, I'll show you how to add eyes and nose, and we're just going to do a cutout gluing method for that. Alright guys, hopefully this part is going well for you.